free yourself up and, and get, get, on, get on the court with these guys? Man, today is great. Man, whenever you could be around all these guys, um, representing your country, um, me having another opportunity to be in this position again to you know, make the team um, represent my country again, you know, it's always an honor. You and Kyle were on different teams. It looked like he uh, passed to the ball one time, turnover for him. Is that going to take some getting used to being on the opposite end? Uh, for sure, you know, but, you know, I think he just got scared when he seen me over there and turned it over. But, you know, it's, 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 it's going to be fun. You know, um, he one of my favorite players, um, one of my favorite point guards I ever played against. So, you know, um, just to be able to play against him later during the season, it'd be fun. Yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to it, you know, but, you know, it's, um, like I said, you know, um, Today was first day, you know, a lot going on, a lot of players. You know, I'm, uh, I know I'm, at some point I get my time with Pop, but today was more so about, you know, all the guys out here that's just trying to make the team. Pop, I mean, I mean, everything, his resume speaks for itself. You know, um, if you're a basketball fan and you know the game, um, Pop is one of them guys that you definitely got to be a fan of inside and out, you know. Um, and that's where I've always been at before I came in the league. And even in the league, you know, being a fan of um, his coaching, um, now to be a part of it, you know, something to look forward to. Do you have any relationship with him before, before this? Like well, Pop, nah, other than just, you know, playing against, you know, he always showed me uh, mutual respect that I, I definitely appreciate it. Um, you know, there's been times he told me things, you know, on the sideline about my game. You know, he was, a, he was a fan and keep working. So just to see things that come, you know, full circle for me to be in this position, you know, it's definitely cool. How much does it mean to you to join an organization for the prestige of San Antonio? I mean, it means it means a lot, you know. Um, you know, like I said, uh, they credibility, they everything stands for itself. You know, it's always been A1 from the outside looking in and now being on the inside to be be able to get a feel for it should definitely be be something to look forward to. But what you could tell the in years past maybe coming out with camp and, and playing out here, is the transition seamless from Coach K to Pop in the Team USA system? I mean yeah, you know, I've been in league going on my tenth year. You know, I've been in a lot of uh, situations, you know, I played for the USA team under Coach K and you know to make this transition. You no know, simple, you know, we know the styles, coaches know our styles, and you know, it's just it's just about what fits, fits the best now. While you're blending in with Team USA and under under Pop, it, it's got to help you mentally to sort of build that relationship, get a jump start before training camp. Oh yeah, it's cool to be out here. Like I said, it's cool to be out here. At some point today, I'll probably sit down with them, talk with them, you know, just have a conversation out, outside of the gym and everything. So just looking forward to that. Yeah, after the, all the stuff of the past week, is it kind of nice? Is this kind of one step in moving forward onto your among your peers and you kind of start thinking as a spur instead of a rapper? Oh, yeah, without a doubt. You know what I mean? What's, I don't even know what today is. Um, after Thursday. Thursday. Yeah, I, I, after Tuesday, you know, I just moved on. You know, it's, I'm second chapter of my, you know, basketball career, my life and everything, just to move on and, you know, accept everything that come, come, come forward, you know, and that's – I mean, you you know how I am, you know, when it comes to working and, you know, my approach to the game of basketball. Now it's just a new page of me to be able to make a stamp. I know you, you and Kyle have been speaking over the phone or whatever over the last week, but how nice was it to see him yesterday? I mean, it was great to see him. You know, it was just great to see him, not even on no teammate or basketball type stuff. Just, you know, just see a friend, you know, just see one of your closest friends, you know, um, laugh with him, joke with him, you know, um, you just get a different – um, feeling, you know, uh, a positive feeling when you're around a guy like that that's genuine, genuinely your friend, so it was cool. Are, are guys kind of kidding you about not being Mr. Raptor anymore? Like, <laughs> stuff like that? I mean, <laughs> nah, man, not, not, not really. Um, DeMarcus had some, something funny to say yesterday, um, but that's just DeMarcus, so, um, no. Um, what are you saying? It's cool. Uh, you got to ask him. <laughs> yeah, you got to ask him. Do you feel like a spur? I think once I, I – I haven't been out there. Once I get out there and get acclimated, um, you know, I, I, I definitely start to feel it or start to see, you know, San Antonio Spurs jerseys and, you know, everything like that. So, you know, um, not fully yet, but 
eventually I will. Has anyone on the roster reached out to you, text, or called you yet? Yeah, a couple guys. You know, obviously, Rudy, one of my close friends. Been with him the last few days in L.A. Um, but a couple of guys reached out, and you know, I'm looking forward to just really you know, getting around the whole team and coaching staff and really be able to build from there. Oh, man, LaMarcus, by far one of the most talented power forwards in this game. You know, in this game, he, he, he's been proven that year in and year out. So for me, you know, I haven't played with a, a, a power forward of that magnitude since Chris Bosh. And that was my rookie year. So to be able to go out and have a guy like that on the team and, you know, just the veteran guys that's still there, you know, um, um, you know, from Powell Gasol to just the culture that the guys that's been there understand what it takes just to be around that, you know, that's what I'm definitely looking forward to. I hope so. You know, I definitely hope you do. That's another guy to learn from. Um, I've been a fan of um, way before I was in the league. So it would be great just to learn and pick, pick a guy like that brand. You mentioned the other day you, you've heard from a lot of people. You've gotten love from a lot of, a lot of peers. Um, is there somebody who you've heard from that's sort of given you the, that, that support that, that surprised you or meant something kind of a little more to you over the last week, somebody that you weren't expecting to hear from? Um, I mean, a lot of people I, I, I heard from was, you know, it was really nothing too un, unexpected. Um, um, it's hard to say. Um, I don't know, but everybody that did reach out, I appreciate it. Probably one that caught me off guard, I got a, a message from Ray Allen yesterday. And Ray Allen gave me some good words that I appreciate, um, and I told him I appreciate it. Um, so that was unexpected because I never, you know, I never had a, you know, relationship with Ray like that other than playing against him early in my career. But for him to reach out like he did, I, uh, I appreciate it. You, you said you shut the door on Tuesday. Is it that easy to shut? Is it completely out of it? Or I mean, I'm, it was a rough week. It was, it was it was extremely hard. You know, I, I can't sit up here and lie, say I wasn't. But Tuesday, my reason of what I did was was that to speak out for myself and leave my words out there and move on. You know, and, and really concentrate on moving on and not living in the past or dwelling in the past or saying or asking or wondering why. You know, I just want to move on and you know begin something new. Have you had any conversations with Masai since? No. Do you, do you plan to? No. Done. No reason to have a relationship. Is that the flip side of loyalty? It's like once it's done, you're. I'm done. I'm done. I don't. It's just done for me. For my end. Uh, you know, are you have you allowed yourself to think forward of coming back to Toronto when I first came back? Oh, uh, well, I don't know. What, anybody know when the schedule come out? I don't think it's out yet. Not until next month, I think. Next month? Yeah. I, I'll wait to then. It definitely be a, a date circle on it, without a doubt. I, mean, I, mean, I don't know, surprise is the right word, right word, but when you look at the reaction of the fans in Toronto, it's got to be kind of overwhelming. Like I, I wrote in my post, I, I don't know no other way that I can thank the fans of Toronto, not even Toronto, Canada, um, just Canada, period. I There's no words I could honestly come up with to, to, to express my my appreciation for them and you know you really don't realize something until it's, it's, it's really taken away and I really realized that that them I always said it when I was there there was some great fans but they some they some great fans period like seriously yeah Damar has uh has Rudy told you anything Grateful, I'm thankful for always being put in a position I was put in. But with that, you know, um, one one thing could tarnish that all. You know, and, and that's how I am. You know, I was like, I tell you, I'm your friend. But when everybody else come around, you know, I I I, I do some in front of everybody else to make you feel some type of way. You you gonna look at me like I wasn't your friend. You know, it's, so you know everything before that not even gonna matter. So time to move on, and I'm moving on. The next couple of months, how much time do you have to spend getting to know 
your new teammates as people and building those relationships before camp? Man, I'm, I'm easy, man. I'm, I'm not difficult at all. When it comes to basketball, if it's about winning, we already on the same page and everything else will be easy. You know, I, it's, it's nothing complicated. You know, I, I've been in the lead. I, I established myself of who, who I am. Everything else is simple. I almost think you fit into their way, into their system. I mean, you're a guy who has proven himself, but you've also kind of let the game do most of the talking for you throughout your career, and that's kind of the Spurs way. Do you think that makes it a pretty good fit for you? And you just said exactly. You made it. You made me sound like I fit perfectly <laughs> by saying it. So, like, sir, without a doubt, yeah.